Hello again, welcome to my channel. My name's Stephen Crone, the watercolour artist, and this is going to be a very simple light type sea up in the uh, up in Scotland. So I'm just going to take a little bit of raw sienna, maybe a touch of uh, lizard and crimson in there as well, just give it a slight flavour. Take that right down to the bottom of the page. I'm going to clean the brush and I'm going to go a bit of ultramarine pop a little bit of that in there as well something like that being careful I'm not going over the same bit of paper twice just so you leave all those nice little marks all over and what I'm going to do is you come down to the bottom Brush that in from either side. I'm just keeping an eye out for where the paper is just dripping down the paper and just soaking it up as I do along. I'm not necessarily looking to make marks anywhere, just I'm just, just purely where it's coming down. I'm just stopping it in its tracks, so to speak. So that's a bit of ultramarine. Next I want some uh, just a little bit of clay, so I'm just going to clean the brush. Plenty of water already on the pipe, so I don't want too much on here. So I'm just taking the excess off. And I'm just going to go lizard in crimson and a bit of Payne's grey. And then just a little bit of clay. reflecting that slightly in the water and just soaking up that pool of water that's gathering at the bottom of the paper just keeping an eye on it because otherwise it starts to creep up and look some tidy so that'll do for that now I want to put in the distant land now and I want to get this in while it's still wet so I can pull down the reflections and they're nice and soft so I'm just going to take it I can bother cleaning the brush just, give just a corner of the raw sienna now unlike the others I've only just bought these paints, so the raw sienna and the and the uh, ultramarine are fresh out of the tube. So I'm just getting used to having them wet on the uh, palettes. I've, I've painted like this for a long time. Now it's quite a high horizon line, so I'm, it's somewhere somewhere up there, like that. And I'm just just flicking down. The reflections. So that's the most distant land. I'm just going to take a dab of raw sienna and put in this slightly closer. Just to just put in just a dab of it on the brush, and just a little dab there on the brush as well, and that will just sort of mix. It'll mix on the paper. Again, just just pulling down, pulling down the reflections. I just want that a little bit stronger because this lands in front of that. I just want to, just want the edge there stronger. That'll do for that. There's also. <coughs> on this right hand side now so I'm going again into that raw sienna a bit of ultramarine a bit of lemon yellow and this this is a little bit steeper and we'll get a bit more paint on there reflections while I've got that colour on the brush. Now I'm going to go into a bit of lemon yellow. And a bit of, bit of raw sienna. And again just pulling it down. Pull 
it's damn well it's in there. Just keep it an eye again. It's not saying it's all there, so I'm not going to worry too much. It's just a little bit there, so I'm just going to take that out. And the paper stretched a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight against this 9mm piece of plywood that I've got fitted upright on, leaning against the easel. It's almost at 90 degrees. I mean, 90 degrees would be that, so I'm only just up to about 80 degrees, but you don't have to have it that steep. It's only like that, so it's, it's easier to film. Um, obviously, if, if I was down like that, I'd have to have the camera right above my head, which would make it awkward. I'd have to fix it off the ceiling. Um, so that's the only reason I have the easel upright. Otherwise, you only need it at 10 degrees. So, what I'll do, when that's dry, I'll, I'll put like a little boat or something on there just to give it a, a focal point. So for now, I'm just going to do a little bit of, put a bit of land in the foreground. So, I'm just going to take uh, just a bit of that, bit of that um, ultramarine, a bit of the uh, raw sienna. And then, just a little bit of, just a little bit of that burnt umber as well. Simple little bit of, bit of foreground. Just wet that. Brush has just got a little bit dry, so I just dip the corner in, just to loosen it up a little bit. So I can get it. Just bring the hairs to an edge. Bit of burnt umber. Just little dabs on there. And we can also just take a bit of card and just pop in a few little rocks here and there. I think if you've overdone it, you can just paint straight over the top of them. And so I don't want to just, just straight over it, don't worry about it too much. And then also, let's just put in some really simple grasses, you can only just, just flick up with a brush like that, you start like instant. Instant grasses. So I'm just going to give that a quick dry and then I'll put like a little boat or something in the water. Like this, just oh, that one's too thick. Just imagine it's like a Something there, we've got a few little bags. Um, don't forget the reflections. There's something going on there. I want to do 
is um, I'll show you a bit closer for that. There's, um, but what I want to do now is just put like a little yacht or something. So I'm just switch the little rigger brush up the ache in the water there. Just dab the rigger brush and I've got a tissue in my left hand. And I'll just make this sail shape with the brush. I'm going to put the, somewhere about looking for a dark spot off centre. So it will show up. So the white of the paper, basically, I'm trying to get down to the white of the paper by loosening the paint with a damp brush and then taking it off with a piece of tissue. So I'm just wetting a sort of triangular shape, a triangular sail shape. And then just dab it with the t-shirt and then don't forget the reflection that will do I'm just going to, just a simple way there of just painting a little yacht on the horizon um, now just up there light area just going to do three little birds flying around and then last lastly down in this corner I'm just going to pop my name so let's uh let's put the names on that and see what it looks like so here's the paints you need the main on so if we go in and have a closer look at it just started the sky with uh, just neat raw sienna all the way down the bottom you can see how it's preserved in this central area there just to sort of create the effect of light off the water and ultramarine um, and then these clouds just a bit of alizarin crimson and Payne's grey um, you can see a slight reflection there could have done with it maybe a little bit higher up there would have been a bit more accurate and just using the same sky colours first we've got the sort of distant hills there pulling down the reflections then I did the uh, the left hand side again pulling down the reflections while the colour was already on the brush and then we've got this right hand side bit of land here and I've just did a bit of scraping out with the uh, car just to try and give the impression like a little harbour scene with a few boats here and there just bobbing around very simple little foreground, again a bit of scraping out just to suggest a few rocks here and there and just a few little flicks with a height brush so it just looks like grass growing on the, uh, the banks of the water and then I just wet the shape of a sail just using a clean damp rigger brush and just took it out of the tissue little reflection there just completes the uh, little illusion of a little, little yacht there on the horizon so that's it for today's paint. I hope you like that. Keep practicing. Paint along with me if you've got all your kit. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of all new videos. Don't uh, hesitate to ask any questions. And I'll see you again soon.